online at consumerqb.com. And we're back. Brandon Rhymes here in studio, Salem Media, South Tampa. Uh, Rebecca Vasquez joining us here in just a moment. Home River Group. We're going to talk about residential property management. Also, uh, find her online at homeriver.com, consumerqb.com. And we greatly appreciate you spending some time with us here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, Tampa Bay's uh, number one consumer advocate based program, helping you win in any marketplace. Also, featuring our real estate listings live on air as part of our uh, overall strategy to help our sellers profit more and sell faster, uh, we feature our real estate properties live on air, maximum exposure, maximum profit for our real estate listings. We've got a uh, beautiful property here. We've got a $13 million uh, property on Pebble Creek. Uh, this is in Orlando, development play uh, in Orlando. It's at four corners, kind of a neat area where you have four different counties uh, kind of coming to a, a point there. 100-acre development opportunity, prime opportunity, prime location, 10 minutes from Disney, Universal Studios, SeaWorld, downtown, and more. Uh, Pebble Creek Court, four corners, Florida. This is over in Orlando. $13 million listing uh, with our partners over the Meraki group over there in Orlando, Keller Williams in Orlando. Uh, also, we've got a property here at 3416 Crepe Myrtle Drive. This is a single family home, uh, perfect for that short term rental uh, here in Hernando Beach. You've got access to the bay, beautiful property, uh, waterfront, and this home has been completely renovated, updated, and it is staged, has beautiful, beautiful coastal themed interior, uh, three bedrooms, three baths, 1864 square feet. Uh, you have a extra lot next door as well, so you could actually build a second uh, home on the same parcel. 3416 Crepe Myrtle Drive, Hernando Beach. You can see all of our real estate listings at PlatinumCoastalElite.com. Somewhere, somewhere sunny and 75. All right, let's do a quick shout-out as well for our friends over at Discovery Golf Cars, longtime friends of the Consumer Quarterback Show, Discovery Golf Cars, hooked us up with a beautiful Keller Williams Red easy go they also have different makes and models star ev cushman uh, they have new and used golf carts as well discoverygolfcars.com let them know the real estate quarterback sent you take them up on those special offers and incentives all right let's welcome back our friend rebecca vasquez home river group welcome back thank you thank you for having me my pleasure and uh, you know the property management is is a realm it's, it's an interesting realm because people i think a lot of times we buy real estate properties and we know uh that you know hey it's a good investment i've heard there's good investment there and then we kind of get into these these real estate situations where uh you know you're managing the property you're doing repairs you got to collect the incomes uh but you guys can handle that for uh, our listeners out there correct so we handle everything related to the day-to-day -day, starting with rent collection um going to any notices that need to go when the hoa sends that notice that they need to clean the mailbox we'll get it over to the tenants make sure that's taken care of so they're not getting fined by the hoa and we'll do all the accounting. They have an online portal, so if they need a report, they can print that off for their accountant. And, of course, we send the tax documents at the end of the year. Yeah, the accounting, the online portal, I mean, there's there's a lot of value there because uh, these are things you don't want to deal with as a uh, homeowner, a, a investment owner. And, and there's a lot of income to be had with, with uh, real estate properties by, you know, investing. And we saw a lot of these big hedge funds doing it, too. You see the, the BlackRock, State Street, Vanguards, these uh, kind of ESG-controlled type companies buying up inventory significant amounts of inventory uh over the past three four years and uh really competing for homeowners that uh you know uh, regular mom and pop type buyers i should say uh so that was kind of a challenge in the industry as well uh so when you when you think about these these leases too i want to talk a little bit of specifics here where how do the leases play out are the the landlords a little bit at an advantage is it more of it advantageous for the tenants what's important to think about when you're looking at uh entering into a lease so the lease agreement obviously needs to represent both parties but ours in florida it is a very landlord friendly state which is great um, but it needs to cover specific things you know we do have one the far bar it's a decent contract yep. but it is good to have an attorney actually write one that covers more stuff the you know small things you don't want them calling to change your light bulb stuff like that so a minimum right. on the lease is great to have um ours is 300 so if there's something small that needs to be done the tenants can take care of that because you do get people who are coming from apartments they'll send a maintenance guy to change a light bulb we, it's not feasible right. um you have to pay that trip charge so you need to have stuff like that in there um no smoking there's stuff that you need to get in detail, especially each house has things. If you have a fountain, you need to treat it. 
yep. ACs. The nice thing, we actually do mail AC filters. Um, we get down the size and we mail it to their house directly, which is nice and different. Um, so we cover that in our lease also. Nice. Yeah, that's great. And then you get into the pets and, you know, do do most landlords, are they okay with pets? Just depending as long as it's not a non-aggressive breed? Correct. Yeah. Um, and that's for insurance purposes. Everyone asks, you know, if they're nicer, you know, some of them are better than chihuahuas. Yes, they are. However, insurance has something against them. So we have to cover them, make sure that if something happens, they're going to be covered. Um, so yeah, um, pets are a big deal. You want to have them on there and you get into the whole, um, Pet versus the, sorry, the medical dog. I can't think of the oh, name. The, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know what you mean. Service. The yeah, service, service dog. Animals. Yeah. Yep. So that's became a huge thing because people try to get away with it. So we do have a pet screening that can actually make sure that that's coming from a reputable doctor. It's not something they fill the card out online to get that. So there is screening for that now, which right. makes it easier. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Uh, we're talking with Rebecca Vasquez here, Home River Group, our, our go-to for all things property management, any kind of property management that you need. Uh, they've got a great company, great systems, uh, rent collections, homeowners association. They will, uh, you know, facilitate any kind of, uh, you know, meetings there, accounting, online portal. Uh, so going back to that accounting, I mean, that's pretty cool because uh, as a landowner, uh, the, the um you know, the landlord in this sense, you're, you're basically sitting back, collecting the funds. It's going right into their bank account. Right. And it's super easy and it's great. I mean, you're, you do real estate. So when it comes time for taxes, you have all these receipts, landlords, it's the same thing. We make it easy for them. It's all right there in the portal. So that's great to have. Yeah, I love it. And and you, you had mentioned also the FAR bar contract. I think that's a great point because, you know, because sometimes when I'll take listings, I'll have uh, the sellers or, or even, you know, buyer. I don't work as much on the buy side, but, you know, there'll be people say, oh, well, I want to scratch through that and I want to change this. And we're, we're pretty much on like the, the mindset, like, look, this is written by realtors for this specific transaction of either listing and selling or uh, renting out a, a property. So the Florida Association of Realtors, uh, and, and it's uh, backed by the uh, the bar, the Florida bar. So they combined here and said, look, let's put together our best practices. I think there have been some updates, too, recently since we just had the pandemic. I think there's been some updates relating to, you know, pandemic-type activities, act of God, those types of things as well. Yeah, they're very detailed when they do them, and it's good to have. We actually have an in-house attorney that does ours. If we have to make changes, because we do, you know, I want this change, I want this change. And there's yep. sometimes I'm just like, I can't do it. Right. Um, but we'll discuss it with the attorney, see if it is something reasonable. Um, and it's not just the wording, because obviously they use words that are hard to understand sometimes. Yeah, and that's that's something where, you know, again, you know, when, when you look at taking an, an income property, the, the strategy here, I, I think for a lot of people, if especially if you haven't got into it, and this might be a good time too get into home ownership uh, or you know at least in this case we're talking about a passive investment because the inventory levels are still low interest rates are higher what we've seen is is a little bit of a lack of demand now so this might be a good time especially late summer people are focused on other things slide in buy some properties buy duplex triplex quad and then now you're building up that portfolio, you're building up your wealth. And then you look back 5, 10, 15, 20 years later, you've got all this equity, you've got all this cash flow that, that's accumulated. Uh, I really think right now is a great time for people to be buying and looking into this. Yeah, so I just read a stat the other day. It went down 4% this year in the Tampa Bay area. So you're Overall looking at your price. Values, yeah, yeah, your regular price is down a little bit. Yes, the interest rate is a little bit higher, but when it comes down, then obviously that would be a great time to refinance. But the other thing is a lot of people are in, I think they said 80% are still at that 3% mark. for. Right. So, I mean, why would you want to get rid of that? That's something right. that you can hold on to, rent it out, and eventually sell when you're looking to make more money on it. And it has rose as far as the equity. Yeah, that's a good point. You, you have a low rate now, and I think a lot of people have that same mindset, Rebecca. They say, look, I'm sitting here at a 2.8. You know, I think some people got some great rates like 2.8, 2.9, 3.2, whatever that is. And, and you start considering, wow, if I were to sell this, and it depends on if it's an owner-occupied or if they're going to, maybe they've moved to another home, moved in with a, a, a spouse or, or, you know, those types of scenarios happen. And they're thinking, man, I, I've got a really good rate on this home. So they don't want to retrade. They don't want to trade that home again, even if they do want to be closer to the beach, closer to mom, closer to the grandkids, uh, whatever that scenario might play for. Uh, but, yeah, I, I love the idea of, of buying real estate, getting it, holding it as it. And you could put these into IRAs. I mean, there's a lot of ways you can do that. Have you seen some of your folks putting uh, property uh, holdings into IRAs as well? 
We do. We have that. A lot of them put them in trust and LLCs. Diff- yeah. There's different avenues that you can do with it. And, you know, if you ever decide you want it somewhere else, then do a exchange, a 1031 exchange and right. get it somewhere else. So that's the nice thing about it is, you you know, you can put off those um, capital gains with stuff like that. Yep. Yeah. And then, then when you think about, you know, the, the property management side, let's say we purchased the property and then we, we contact you and we go through the consultation. What does that look like? How does that consultation look and feel? So most of it is done, you know, everyone works from home nowadays. So most of it is done over the phone. We have investors all over the country. So we don't do a lot of in-person meetings anymore. So most of that is just talking on the phone. I'll send the docs. They're done through DocuSign. Very simple, easy process. Yep. Once that's done, then we say it'll be on the market within 48 hours. So we'll call you right after it's signed. Um, if we're meeting with you, then we'll meet with you then. Go over the property. If there's a list that needs to be done of maintenance repairs, Yep. We'll send that over to you, get prices for you, get it on the market, and start getting a renter for you. And do some of the background screening as well? You yes. Guys do that? So the background screening, we actually use a third party for that, which is nice. Yep. Um, they're very thorough. Uh, it's kind of like when you log in to pay, send a Venmo or something, they ask for your account information, you log in, right. and it all transfers you know, behind the scenes. We do the same thing for looking at bank statements. So they're not supplying us the paperwork because obviously you can – make a bank statement online so easily so right. <laughs> we make sure we're looking at the right things which is good because all of that stuff you know a couple of years ago you didn't have that yeah yeah exactly can you imagine doing real estate back at, you know i, I think about because my family was in real estate my uncles and you know back in the early 80s mid 80s it's like you're you're scanning you're not scanning document you're like snail mailing documents waiting on it to come in i mean the speed of business has changed so significantly over the last few decades Yes, it's really, and I sit there and I picture those maps. Remember, oh, you yeah. had to have the paper maps, pull them yeah. out, try to plan out your routine. Yeah, we we save a lot from that. It was tough. I mean, I worked for my dad at the time, and it was a, he, he had a company that would handle foreclosure properties. So, you know, the bank contracts with him, and then we go out there, cut the grass, change the locks, clean them out, you know, et cetera. We have even did evictions. You'd show up and actually evict people, which is kind of sad. It was a tough tough job but somebody has to do that you know Mm -hmm. you have to repossess the home and take the home back and put it into what they call conveyance condition where they're going to sell it back uh but yeah that's what we did we had maps and sometimes you're on the map you think you're going where you need to go and then you run into a canal you're like wait i gotta go all the way around here and go to the other side of that canal now yeah yeah Yeah. thankfully there's very little of that with google and stuff like that but you still get stuck in dead ends sometimes yeah especially new communities that's right yeah Yeah, new communities yeah and it's funny if you switch from ways to to maps to 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 google you know you'll you'll have different it's like okay one doesn't work go to the other they may have it right yeah Mm. that's what i always have to do yeah exactly (laughs) (laughs) all right so rebecca vasquez home river group check her out online homeriver.com rebecca vasquez Uh, how else do you want people to connect with you rebecca they can call me directly my cell is 813-810- 0807. And one more time. 813-810-0807. Homeriver.com. And uh, thank you so much. Good stuff today. Thank you. All right. There you go. There you have it. Another one of our local area uh, business owners and, and, you know, local companies supporting the local economy by supporting the Consumer Quarterback Show. Uh, all of our expert contributors can be found online, consumerqb.com as well. Uh, coming right back here with Fred Mute, Tampa Screens and Aluminum, a longtime friend of the Consumer Quarterback Show. Uh, we're going to talk about supply chain, labor force, and his great company putting in uh, addition screen rooms onto your pool, onto your home. Tampa Screens and Aluminum coming up here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. Hey, I'm Ken Shamrock, and you're here with Consumer Quarterback Show. And I say, Brandon Rodgers, knock out your competition.